Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Let's Play series, and this is episode 3, where we will be taking on the Star Cup Grand Prix on 150cc. And last time, we took on the Flower Cup as Luigi, as you can see, and this time we're going to be playing as Peach. Now, I don't think I'm just going in order of the characters, you'll see pretty soon that that's going to change, but... For now, we're going with Peach for this episode. And to switch it up a bit, um, we're gonna be on a bike. And uh, last time, we unlocked the Blue Falcon, which is pretty nice. But we're not gonna use that yet. We are going to use the standard bike for Peach. But anyway, let's go on and do the Star Cup, which consists of Sunshine Airport, Dolphin Shoals, Electrodrome, and Mount Wario. Some of the best tracks in the game, actually, which is why many people have said that Star Cup, the Star Cup is the best cup in the game, and I honestly agree. Like, in terms of tracks, it is the best cup, because Sunshine Airport is pretty good, Dolphin Shoals is pretty good, Electrodrome is pretty good, also the only track in the game that has a one-word name. A name that is actually only one word. And I think only the only track in the entire Mario Kart series that has a one word name. That I know of at least. Which is pretty cool that when you think about it. And and then there's Mount Wario, which is just in a league of its own. Because it is like one of the best tracks in the game. If not the best. Like so many people love Mount Oreo, and I I love it too. It's pretty good. It's the first section section track in the game, in the base game, and it, it's just it's just so good. It, it's just good. What can I say? It's just so good. All right, and we can take a shortcut through the boxes there, and hopefully not get slowed down. I hate it when that happens, because, like, the box physics just screw you over sometimes. Um, but most of the time, if you're going fast enough, you can avoid the, like, bad box physics and just, like, go straight through them. And we are so far ahead. Um, I just realized that we are so far ahead right now. And, oh, okay. But yeah, and I, I've heard people say that the, most of the anti-gravity that they put in the booster in the booster course packs, pa blah, blah, booster course pass tracks are mostly useless. And I don't think people realize that there are some in the base game that are completely useless as well. Like the one, the anti-gravity section on this track. Like I think they were just like, ooh, it's a it's a base game track. It's a nitro track. We gotta have we gotta have anti gravity because it's a nitro track. Because it, it, it's, it's, it's a game with anti. It has new anti gravity. We have to include anti gravity in every original track. So they just included it here when it really doesn't need it. Like it's just a hill that goes up, and you can play this completely fine without anti gravity. And it's yeah, but like. I'm not trying to hate on it or anything, I'm just pointing it out because a lot of people say, oh, Booster Press Pass, they're just trying to fit anti-gravity in, like, useless places because, you know, they want to appease us. But, you know, that's kind of what they did here. And I'm fine with it. I mean, I, I, it's more variety and I don't care. I'm not one of those people, one of the... Like, I'm not that type of person who's just gonna be like, oh, this thing, I don't like this, and... I'm, I'm not, like... I'm not the type of person to be, like, to be nitpicky on every little detail in, like, a Mario Kart track. Because, to me, it's all about the gameplay. And the scenery is, like... The scenery is the second thing I usually look at. The, the gameplay is the first thing. Because, like, when I look at a new track, especially the new tracks in the Booster Course Pass, I just, like, play them, and, like, I see how they play. And then, after, once I've actually learned the tracks, or, and actually become good at them, 
then I, you know, that's when I take time to actually look at things and, you know, enjoy the ride. And that, that, that brings me to the whole graphics part of the Booster Course Pass and how they have worse graphics in the main game. And this is true and it's unfortunate. It, it is unfortunate um, because unfortunately worse graphics doesn't just mean worse graphics. It means there's less stuff, there's less scenery. Cause like if you take a look at like a track like Dolphin Shoals for example, you notice there's like a bunch of stuff in this area, like so much coral, like a stingray there, a cheap cheap. It's like everywhere you look, there's something new to see and you know look at. But for the Boost Course Pass tracks, I feel like they focus more on it like looking nice at first glance, but then. Yeah, they just care about it looking nice, you know, making it look nice in the trailers and stuff. And, like, at first glance, you're like, oh, wow, this is so cool. But then when you actually take a closer look at it, it's like, they, there's a lot of, like, cut corners and stuff. And things that aren't very well put together and things like that. And I don't blame... I... We don't talk about that. Um, I honestly don't blame Nintendo because... Like, these tracks that I'm comparing them to, that are being compared, are like, have been made like, almost a decade apart from each other. And I feel like a lot of people don't, like, look at the fact that like, these tracks, original, these original tracks were made in 2014, and even like, the original DLC tracks were made in like, 2015. Which is still close enough for them to, like, you know, have, like, memory on how to actually make good tracks. And, but then we have tracks from 2022 and 2023 where people are like, oh, this is, this is not, like, the base game at all. Which it really isn't, but, like, you have to keep in mind that, that, like, date gap, that gap in the years is very substantial. And especially, like, even if it is the same dev team that made these tracks, working on the current tracks, they still, like, they haven't had much to do. Because I'm pretty sure the dev team that makes Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's tracks were, is not the same as the dev team that makes Mario Kart Tour's tracks. So you have to keep that in mind. And last race, I actually forgot to take a look at who we're going against here. So we're going to do that now. Donkey Kong, Toad, Baby Daisy, Koopa Troopa, Morton, Shy Guy, Dry Bones, Kamek, Mario, Iggy, and Ludwig. That's pretty interesting, especially it looks like Donkey Kong and Toad are going to be our rivals, as well as Baby Daisy, possibly. And yeah, Kamek, one of the new characters, is here as well, which is pretty nice, especially Kamek is actually starting to become my like main character, or my favorite, I guess. Well... I still feel like Rosalina is my favorite. Um, Baby Rosalina is also still my second favorite. But I feel like Kamek has definitely taken first place. I mean, <laughs> has definitely taken third place. Kamek has definitely taken that third place spot away from whoever it was, whoever it was before. I don't really even remember at this point. But yeah, I've been playing as Kamek a lot recently. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna play as him eventually. And anyway, we're on Electrodrome, which is a pretty cool track. Which is a pretty cool track. I really like this track. I mean, I kind of say that about like every track. <laughs> I really like every track. I, I'm gonna say that again. I said it last episode. And I'm gonna say it again. I really like every single track in this game. I don't think there is a single one that I would like, like, be like, I don't want to play that. Actually, okay, I lied. Dry Dry Desert, GB, <laughs> GCN Dry Dry Desert is my least favorite track. And mostly because I am horrible at it. 
and basically whenever it gets picked or anything, I'm just like, ah, this is gonna be great. Like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm never really excited to play that track. Like, I'm n not, not really, I'm never really like fond of that track, I guess you could say. So that, I guess that is one track that I don't really like, but yeah, that's just one out of the 48 tracks that were in the base game of Deluxe. And not even mentioning the other 48 that's about to be included. And currently, I'd say my favorite Booster Course Pass track would be probably, honestly, one of the newer ones. It might be Recency Bias, but, like, I really like Squeaky Clean Sprint. But, like, I also really like Athens Dash as well. Like, I think they did a good job with those two tracks. And they're, they're pretty good. I like them. But, otherwise, I feel like my third favorite Booster Force Pass track would probably have to be... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'd say probably Yoshi's Island. Actually, no, Sky High Sunday. Yeah, Sky High Sunday. I don't know what it is about Sky High Sunday, but I just I just like it. I like it. It's a fun track. I mean, I guess that is it. I guess... I said I don't know what it, what it is, but I do know what it is. It's fun. It's, like, a really fun track to play on. And a track that's actually, like, fun, that, like, actually makes me, like, have fun. Like, not just, like, you know, because I'm playing Mario Kart, but in the actual, like, track itself, it, it's, it's always a pretty good track. And that's how Athens Dash and Squeaky Clean Sprint made me feel. It made me feel like I was, like, like going on some sort of roller coaster. Speaking of roller coasters, Vancouver Velocity. <laughs> that probably wasn't where you were expecting me to go with that, but Vancouver Velocity. If you haven't already, you need to play Tour Vancouver Velocity on on 200cc because, like, when I played it at first, I was like, "Oh, this this track definitely wasn't made for 200cc," which I still don't think it was, and I don't really think any of the tracks were made like. 200 cc but like that track especially it just feels like feels like kind of it feels like instead of 200 cc being in the game like it was a mod like it makes 200 cc feel like a mod that's what that track does except for one part and that is the suspension bridge part specifically the anti-gravity part of it is so fun to play in 200 cc especially when you do it like right and get all the lines right and like you know don't mess up it is so fun it's actually like the first part of like a track that actually made me like smile because of how fun it was like it was actually so like it felt it honestly felt like a roller coaster and i've never been on a roller coaster before in real life so it, and, it, and it still felt like I was on a roller coaster. It was like so crazy. It, it, it was just so I don't know what it what it was. It was just it was just so fun. Like and once we get to that, eventually in like like so many episodes, <laughs> that I will show you how fun it is in 200 CC. I will probably like. After we're done doing 150cc, I will play it in 200cc and show you what, like, how fun it is. I, 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 well, can't really promise because that's gonna be a while away. That's a lot of cups to go through. But I, I, if I remember, I will. And anyway, we've actually completed the Star Cup. I... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. We we completed it. It's, 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 we we got we got all three stars, which is nice. So we're we're keeping our streak of completing them all on our first try. We're definitely keeping that streak, and I hope to keep it keep that streak until the probably you know. Until the Booster Cross Pass tracks, I, I want to keep that streak. Okay, let's, well, that's that's my goal. See if we can keep our no-losing streak 
until we get to the Beast Course Pass tracks. Because for some reason they are just harder. I, I don't know what, I don't know why, but they are. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that was the Star Cup in 150cc. And I'm going to quickly look at what vehicle we unlocked. And then we'll end off the episode. And next time we're gonna be doing the special cup. And yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, blue standard tires, that's nice. Those are pretty good, I like those, blue standard. Pretty good, all right. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. And I will see you all later. Subscribe to stay tuned for when the next episode comes out. And like the video if you liked it. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next episode or video. Depending on what you watch. But anyway, goodbye. Subscribe to the main channel for Minecraft content. And I'll see you all later. And I don't blame... We don't talk about that.